What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No a Premium, back with another episode of the Market Overview. Guys, today, very much a, a small trend day up, but not really. It was more so just staying in that range kind of all day long, right between, you know, 4035 all the way up here to 4063. Now, that's a big range on ES, obviously, but you can't deny that this does look a little bit like a bear flag into that prior top of balance area. Okay, so let's look out for that tomorrow. I think it'll be very evident. Over 4164, you definitely want to look to the long side. If we clear that 4175, say it happens overnight, I don't know. Um, then definitely want to look to the long side there, right? That's what I'll be looking at. I think tomorrow you can get long on 4164, break and hold. But if it takes out 4175, look, target 4, uh, 4200, 4225, 4260 above there, if we want to fail this level, look for the failure or take out today's low 4135 area, then target 4120 underneath there, 4100, 4060. 4060 is a long level. I think there's an easy bounce there that you can take scalp at least six to 10 points on ES. Let's look at SPY, the salt and pepper 500. No, I'm just kidding. Standard and pours. Uh, but guys, S&P 500. Hundred. Oh, had our Fibonacci on here from this morning. I want to take that off here. All right, but look, very similar chart to the ES level. We knew what? We knew 414.50 to 4.15. That was going to be a big level. It was going to be the big level. Now, we held the top of that balance area, but couldn't quite get through that 4.15 and hold, right? So I think a good... A uh, point to look at for tomorrow is if we get over 415 and hold, definitely get through 41625. But through 415, I think we'll go for that high. Take that out. 41735 is the back test of that double bottom that we had at the top up here. I would like to take an initial reaction up there initially. Uh, but if not, okay, if not, and it gets Ripper Magoo, how are you? Just target that 421 up above 418. Up above 418. Now, if we reject this level, look at this 413, 41250 to 413 to hold, which was the day's low. Target that 410. If that finally breaks, 409 gap fill, 407. QQQ and total breakout mode, QQQ. Okay. Oh, I had the Fibonacci on here too. Let me just get that off for you guys here, real quick. All right. Uh, higher highs, right? Higher highs here. We finally broke over this 338. We're still up here at 339.50. So we said 340, watch that level. We never got to get a break and hold above it that would confirm longs, right? That would, uh-oh. Oh, I had a sneeze. Oh, it went away. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, 340, we knew the break and hold over 340. We're going to look for a higher low up there. We never quite got that above the 340 area. So tomorrow, I think it's going to be all about 340 to 341. Ideally, any higher lows, if let's say we gap up, I don't know what's going to happen. Say we gap up though. Say we gap up and we get a higher low, right? And we get a higher low. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can get up to four, uh, 345. Okay. And then 348 above there. I'm sorry. If I was saying the 400s on this chart, I'm sorry. I've been looking at spy a ton. This is 340. We're looking at breaking hole 340. If not 338, underneath 338, I think we could easily come down to see this 336, 50, 334, 50, 331 under there, and 327s underneath. Uh, gap fill up here is at a 348. So I think watch this initial reaction at about 345, but I think you could take that rejection very solidly at 348 if we run up there tomorrow. That's just for tomorrow. I don't know if we have an eight-point day in a small. I have no idea what is in store for us tomorrow. But any dips above this 338 or above 340, just depending where we open, I'll be looking to likely have us get long. Likely have us to get along. We'll see IWM. What's IWM doing? IWM. Not a great day. IWM's back under that 175 here. Look, even went up and back tested that area, 175. You could see it right here. So if we continue down, look for the possible bounce 172 area right here. You can see 172 area would be this bounce area. You could see the line right here. That will have to to hold if we get a big bounce down there tomorrow it could be possible to continue up and higher take it to continue up and higher okay so watch the 172 bounce now if we get below 170 168 
it has to hold. 168 has to hold, or the, I think the broader market is extremely risk off and we have a big down day. I don't know. So it's all about the 172 bounce tomorrow if we get it. Uh, if not, need to take out 176 to the upside to uh, target 179 from there. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. That's all I got for you. I forget you got to wake up early. Why do you have to wake up early? We have a bunch of economic data. Okay. We have a bunch of economic. Pretty much core PCE is going to be tomorrow. That's very, very, very important. A lot of uh, personal um, consumer data. You can see a personal income, personal spending, personal consumption. That'll be interesting data that coming out then. Then 30 minutes in, you know, we got the University of Michigan inflation expectation as long as, as well as the consumer sediment index. So one hour before 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and then 30 minutes in, we have data. So just know that. Just know that tomorrow is Friday, guys. Always remember on Friday to do what? If you're green on the week, take a portion of profits, play with those. Okay, play with those. Not time to play hero ball, okay, and make back a red week. If you're red on the week, maybe evaluate not taking a trade tomorrow, doing true paper trades, writing it down, looking for your setups, and actually executing now with real dollars because you want to make sure you're just practicing and getting good risk management. If you have a red week and think I'm going to turn around all tomorrow, you're likely going to make your red week even worse. So just sit out. It's okay. All right, guys. But of course, you need to wake up early, get your levels right. And of course, not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.